So you've recently been diagnosed with low HDL cholesterol and you were just wishing that there were five easy steps that you could take to raise your HDL back up to normal. Well, congratulations, there are. They're also delicious, tasty, and nutritious. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you five simple steps to get that HDL cholesterol back up to that high healthy level that you've been craving. There's been lots of debate in the cholesterol world lately. You may have noticed this, but what I, it's very important for you to understand is that having a high HDL cholesterol is far more protective than having a high LDL cholesterol is dangerous. Most of the research seems to show that a high HDL cholesterol is 10 times more important than having a low LDL cholesterol. So stop worrying so much about your LDL cholesterol and focus on raising your HDL cholesterol. There's a lot of false advice out there on the internet about how to raise your HDL cholesterol. Most of it's given by well-intentioned, earnest people, gurus, practitioners who believe in their heart of hearts that a plant-based diet is the healthiest diet for human beings to eat. The problem is these false recommendations, this false advice, which includes eating more whole grains, eating more soybeans, eating more apples, eating more wild yams, beans, flaxseed, drink more red wine. Uh, when you start looking at the research behind these things, it's trivial at best, epidemiological at worst. All of these things are very high carbohydrate foods and therefore they're gonna fly directly in the face of evidence supported tip number one. Step number one to raising your HDL cholesterol is to eat a low carbohydrate diet. So some authorities would say it needs to be under 50 total grams of carbohydrates a day. Other would say it needs to be under 20 total grams of carbohydrates a day. Regardless of who's right there, the truth of the matter is, as supported by much meaningful research, is that eating a low carbohydrate diet is going to raise your HDL cholesterol. Indeed, some of the same research, some of which is even randomized and controlled, shows that eating a high carb diet is without fail going to lower your healthy, good HDL cholesterol. Step number two is to eat a higher fat diet. And it can't just be any fat. You don't wanna be guzzling polyunsaturated fat rich canola oil, soybean oil, peanut oil, sunflower oil. These are not gonna help you. They're gonna cause inflammation and oxidation and not raise your HDL cholesterol. No, you wanna focus on getting lots of good, healthy, saturated fat and also mono unsaturated fat. So great sources of this that you can add to your diet in portions as big as you want them to be is butter, bacon, full fat, real fermented cheese, cod liver, and lard. And it, basically any red meat is gonna be a great source of saturated fat and mono unsaturated fat, both of which are going to help you raise your HDL cholesterol. Step number three for raising your HDL cholesterol is to incorporate some form of vigorous exercise into your weekly routine. Uh, there's still debate on how often this should be. Uh, probably three times a week is sufficient, but if you wanna go to five times a week, I think that's also fine. But the research shows that this needs to be vigorous. So going for a walk, uh, walking on the treadmill, these sorts of things are probably not gonna do it. The exercise needs to get you winded, get you short of breath. So lifting heavy weights, doing high intensity interval training, these sorts of things that get you sweaty and out of breath. It can even be exercise in the bedroom as long as you get sweaty and out of breath, that's gonna raise your HDL cholesterol. Step number four to raise your HDL cholesterol is to get somewhere between seven and nine hours of sleep a night. Too little sleep seems to lower your HDL. Too much sleep also seems to lower your HDL. So it looks like between seven hours a night and nine hours a night is the sweet spot that's gonna raise your HDL a little bit. Next is, if you're a smoker, you 100% need to quit smoking. The research is very clear about this. When you quit smoking, you're gonna raise your HDL cholesterol. But if you're like, well, can I vape instead of smoke? Uh, yes, yes you can. There's actually a study that shows that if you switch from smoking cigarettes to vaping, 
you still get the benefit of raising your HDL cholesterol. Now, I don't think that vaping is 100% safe and 100% healthy, but I do think it's 100 times better for you than smoking cigarettes. Smoking cigarettes is just as dumb as not subscribing to this channel. And finally, if you're just starting to try to raise your HDL and your HDL is currently very, very low, there is a supplement that has some research supporting its ability to raise your HDL and that's berberine. I'm gonna put a link down in the show notes to a good quality berberine that you can take for one to six months while you're focusing on the five easy steps that are gonna permanently raise your HDL back up to normal. You can use the berberine as a temporary crutch until you fix this problem yourself. Now, I know some of the things that I've said in this video may sound like crazy blasphemy to you. And that's why I've included multiple research links to each of the steps down in the show notes below so that if you don't believe me or if your doctor doesn't believe me, they can look it up and read it for themselves. Your ultimate goal here is to uh, wind up with an HDL cholesterol of 60 milligrams per deciliter or higher. If it's any less than that, then you're at a little bit increased risk for heart attack and stroke. And the more it is below that 60 cutoff level, the higher your risk of heart attack and stroke. A lot of people don't know this information, including a lot of doctors. And so please consider sharing this video to help me teach the whole world how to raise their HDL cholesterol in five easy steps. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.